Hi, my name is Jennifer Mead. I'm the coordinator of health and wellness for Kearney Public Schools. On behalf of myself and all of our school nursing staff, we want to welcome you to the Kearney Schools family and to our wonderful pre-K program. Our main priority is the health and safety of your child. Communication between families and our medical staff is important to achieve that goal. To begin, let's cover a few brief but important topics. Updated contacts. First and foremost, please make sure that all your contact information is up to date, including phone numbers, email addresses, and a list of people who are allowed to pick your child up. It's very important to have a plan in place when children are ill and need to be picked up quickly. If you work out of town, please make sure you have arrangements in place to pick your child up in a timely manner. Immunizations. Entrance immunizations are required by the state to enter New Jersey public schools. At this point, you have all submitted those. One particular immunization is still required for students ages zero to 59 months. That is an annual flu shot. Flu shots are available beginning in September and they are required to be documented and submitted to us by the end of December. Unfortunately, failure to do so would require us to medically exclude your child after that period. Please make your appointments early in the fall to make sure that supplies don't run out and you're able to get your child immunized in a timely manner. Illness. If your child is ill, we ask that you please keep them home. Contact the nurse in your building via email or by phone, and the nurse will advise you if any further evaluations, doctor's notes, or testing may apply for their return. In our times of COVID, our protocols may change rather quickly. If your child is suspected of being a close contact of a COVID case or has developed COVID-like symptoms, we'll advise you at the current protocols at that point in time. Medications. If your child may require medication during the school day, it must be accompanied by a doctor's order and the medication unexpired in its original container. The medication will be kept in the nurse's office and dispensed there. Please be aware that the nurse's offices do not dispense the following. Fever reducing medication, medication for seasonal allergies or antibiotics. Medications of that nature should be given at home. We ask that when you send in your medication to the nurse, you deliver it to them directly. Please do not put medications in our children's backpacks and please do not keep medication in their backpacks to transport between the school setting and the daycare setting. That poses a safety hazard. For children with chronic medical conditions, such as asthma, food allergies, diabetes, seizure disorder, there are medication forms that are readily available on our website under the nursing tab. Please make sure that those medication forms and any medication needed is filled out prior to the first day of school and brought in on the first day of school to our nurses. It's very important, especially to have any emergency medication on hand if we ever need it. Food allergies. In our school setting, we take food allergies very seriously. If your child has a documented medical food allergy, we ask that you please provide us with the medical food allergy packet filled out by both you and the doctor. This will alert us as to what your child's food allergy is, what their reaction is, any emergency medication that is needed, and any other pertinent information. That information will be shared with members of our staff to ensure your child's safety. Because we have so many food allergies in our school system, we do not allow for the use of shareable food. That includes cupcakes for birthday parties and other celebratory food. We do, however, love to celebrate and when we do have celebrations, the teacher will alert you and your child is asked to bring in a special treat for them. Other shareable items such as toys, etc., are also promoted instead of shareable food items. If your child should have an environmental allergy or a serious allergy to insects, that also can be documented on the allergy forms and sent in with any medication needed. Eating at school. Carney Public Schools utilizes Pomptonian food services to serve all of their meals. Pomptonian is a nut-free provider. If your child has any documented food allergies other than nuts, special menus are available online at the Carney Schools website. And if your child has multiple allergies, there's also information to contact the dietitian to create a custom menu for your child. Please make sure to remember that only documented 
food allergy and intolerances by the doctor are able to be accommodated. If your child should not be able to eat certain foods due to religious restrictions, please let the school nurse know that and the school nurse will take care to alert Pomptonian about health screenings. Each year, Kearney School Nurses will screen all of the student population based on New Jersey Department regulations. At the pre-K level, this includes height, weight, vision, hearing, and dental screening. We are very fortunate in Kearney to have invested in the latest in vision and hearing technology, and we are able to screen children non-invasively in a matter of seconds. If your child is unable to participate for any reason, or there is a concern that they need further evaluation, we will let you know right away. Our dental screening is done by our school dentist and it consists only of a very brief look inside the child's mouth to see if there's anything of concern. We use these opportunities during screenings to develop positive relationships with the students and discuss education related to health and wellness and being comfortable with medical professionals. It's always a fun time and we love to. Lastly, over the summer, we ask that you continue to work with your child to promote toilet training, covering of coughs and sneezes, and of course, hand washing. These techniques are the foundation for healthy practices in the school setting. More detailed information regarding the health offices will be provided to you in your orientation handout. We wish you a wonderful, happy, and safe summer, and we are so looking forward to meeting you all in September. Have a great summer, everybody.